Hey everybody, um, welcome back to the channel. So I've been getting a lot of people asking a ton of questions about probing or popping a snake, um, whether it be a ball python, which is what we'll talk about today, or any other snake for that matter. Uh, some of the colubrids are really easy. Ball pythons, um, popping a, an adult ball python is near impossible, at least in my opinion. So today um, I'm going to show you my method of uh, probing. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple, um, as long as you have a steady hand. The, um, we'll go through a couple of things. Actually, today we're going to uh, look at my buddy Taylor over at Pacific Coast Pythons. I'll uh, put the link to the Instagram page um, in this video. Uh, so what we're going to look at is some of his high-end snakes today. Uh, he got um, some that he was told were male and female, but he thinks that might be swapped. So we're going to check that out. This is again, not a difficult process um, if you have the right tools. So I'm going to tell you about the tools that I recommend and uh, we'll just kind of dive right in and then we'll get a little close up as well so that you guys can see how to do it. The key is, like I started with saying, the steady hand and you're not pushing. None of the things that we're gonna to be t doing today is pushing any tools around. It's just letting these tools kind of do their thing and glide. So you'll see in the close-ups. Um, so, all right, uh, let's get started. All right, guys, so uh, this is the lube that I use, which is mineral oil. You can get this at like CVS, um, anywhere similar to that. Um, but you can also do a Vaseline lubricant, which is a little bit thicker. Um, so this it's, you just put this in a little cup, a little bowl, and then you, you're going to dip the, um, probes in there. So let's take a look really quick at the probes. So it comes in a little kit. I got mine off Amazon. Take a look at the size of this small. Um, this is good for, uh, it's got a couple different sizes there. The tips are different sizes. So one, this will be for the little babies and then midsize and a larger ball python. So today we have a couple of ball pythons that are in the thousand plus gram range. So we will be using the largest one and okay, we'll so get this to is the first snake that we're going to look at. This is an orange dream, yellow belly desert ghost. Um, absolute gorgeous snake. Look at the blushing on the head. Again, this is Taylor over at Pacific Coast Pythons. He has some gnarly stuff, go check him out. Um, so this one was supposed to be the boy, um, is what he uh, originally purchased it as, um, but he thinks this one's growing real fast, so we're gonna take a look and think maybe this might be the female. And then we have another one, which is the super orange dream, yellow belly desert ghost. So let's start with this one. Typically, the best uh, plan of action is to get a second person to do this. You can do it by yourself, definitely for the small babies. I do it by myself pretty easy. I might actually show that at the end of this video. Um, but for a large snake, definitely better to get a second person. The second person is just going to hold the snake, kind of make sure it's not slithering out, twisting and things like that. So we're going to take our probe. We're going to dip it right into our little liquid. All you need is again, just a little bit. And here's the key. Obviously we want this probe to look to go in here. Now for a female, it's just going to go about that far. Now for a male, it's going to go in about there. So when we're doing this, if I just start to try to go in, there's this little flap here and, and the snake is not, it's not gonna work if I just go straight in. So what I do, again, I'm not pushing, I'm just letting this thing glide, is I start like that, okay? And then, again, I'm not pushing. This is, if, if this snake moves, my, I'm not even squeezing this thing very hard so that it could accidentally like puncture or anything like that if it, the, the probe will just move out of the way of my fingers. So right now I'm going in Going in, testing, testing. So here we go. Okay, so right now on this side, it's kind of stopping short. So if you want it, what you can do at this point is put your thumb there and pull out. So this would be a girl so far on this side. So since again, I'm not gonna push to see if it's a boy, typically if it's a boy, it'll just kind of glide through. So now we go to the other side, same thing. There's plenty of mineral oil on this you don't need any more and again same thing here we go snakes saying okay I'm a little uncomfortable this does not hurt the snake at all so it's starting to move so I'm just gonna pull it out we're gonna reset we'll get a little bit more mineral oil again here we go going in this way and in and gliding this thing is definitely stopping right here. So this, again, if you want to do it, you put your thumb right at the end, pull it out. 
count the scales. One, two, three, four scales. That's a female. So this snake is not a boy. <laughs> All right. So pretty straightforward, pretty simple. We're going to do the next one, which fingers crossed it's a boy. So since uh, if you guys know your genetics, a super orange dream, yellow belly, uh, desert ghost is definitely a better boy to have than an orange dream, yellow belly, desert ghost. So let's get this second boy and take a look. Okay. So uh, we just sexed this one, which again is the uh, orange dream, yellow belly, desert ghost. And if you can see, they look very similar. Um, but this one a little bit lighter and you can see that as Taylor was telling me the um, Alien heads are on this one, but not on this one And that's pretty typical of a orange. I mean a super orange dream um, Snake in general and then this is the super orange dream yellow belly desert ghost so interestingly though the what we believe right now is the orange dream has an oranger more beautiful head than this one but again this one is definitely an awesome snake. Both of these desert ghosts, so they're gonna do some definite damage in breeding season. So, all right, we're gonna get rid of this one, start to sex this one. Okay, so we're gonna try this. Basically, this little boy wants to give me a nice hug or a uh, kiss with teeth. So, uh, he's all curled up. We were trying to get him and use our two-person method, but for this, um, I'm gonna show you how, if the snake is acting like this and the head's all locked up there and the tail is present here, uh, we're gonna attempt it like uh, one person. Once he unravels, then we will do the opposite. So I'm gonna switch hands here. He's extremely tight right now, but he's giving me all this. So again, Taylor, I'm actually gonna have hold just the tip down right there. Okay, and again, same thing, come opposite direction to start boys don't tend to like this as much as girls so i'm hoping he's gonna cooperate and let's see so so far so far not so good let's see again i'm not ever gonna push so right now it's this side is telling me girl so i'm gonna go to the other side i'm actually going to re-lube here because Boys, I might re-lube a little extra. I'm gonna put my thumb there and we're gonna pull out. I got bad news from my buddy Taylor, but we're gonna do it again just in case because I don't want to give it to him, even though he even though he's standing. Not, it is not bad news. It's sir. not bad. No, it's okay. a more expensive snake. It just okay. changes the breeding plan. Okay, changes his breeding plan. That's fair. By the way, I am doing this left-handed, which is just to show you, it's not that hard. I am a right-handed individual, so we're gonna go back in again, waiting for it. It is just not going anywhere. You guys can see it's easily stopping and my hand kind of glides as it stops because I'm not putting that extra pressure and now we're just gonna take it out. I'm gonna go one last time on this side just to triple confirm this thing. All right, I am more confident that this is a female than the other one um, because I, have, I can definitely feel a stoppage on this one. So, gorgeous snake. Also a female. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys to finish up this video some of the little babies and show you, um, well, I wanna show you a male since we've only hit two females so far. So we'll get another snake out here. All right, uh, so we, this is a boy. This should be a boy. Um, I have not sexed it since the day that I got it and it was so small then that, um, you know, basically I haven't sexed it. So I'm doing it here with you guys. Um, I have switched over to the tiny, tiny probe that is oddly curved now for some reason. Must have got knocked around, not so sure what. So I'm going to try this by myself at this point. Um, I don't recommend doing this uh, after they just ate a meal, which he did just eat a meal today. But for the sake of the video, I really wanted to get, um, I wanted to do his. On a baby, baby brand new snake, What the way I'd actually do it, because they're so light, is I actually hold it with one hand just by the tail. So I'll hold the snake up 
by the tail. I know it sounds ridiculous, but because they're so light, there's really nothing pulling them down. It doesn't hurt them. At this stage, I'm definitely not gonna hold this snake by the tail, and I'm not gonna be able to do this by myself. Um, <laughs> so we're, we are gonna switch around. Well, here, all right, here you go. So I'm gonna go like this. Again, I'm coming in at that other angle here, this way, and then this way, this way, and under that flap right there. And we're gonna start to glide inward. Let's see if he lets me do this. Oh, there we go, I got that pocket there. Now take a look how deep this just went. Okay, look, I'm not even gonna go any deeper because I don't need to. Look how deep that went. That is a lot of scales, and this is a small snake. So it just went all the way in. So I'm not gonna go the other side, no need. Um, there was, he, he didn't, look at him, not even phased at all. So as long as the snake is relaxed and, you know, not stressing, it's, it's unlikely for you to hurt the snake at all. So that's this little dude, and he is a boy. Again, if you guys haven't seen some of my other videos, this one is a cinnamon cypress sunset. Uh, from what I understand, the only one in the world, um, which is pretty cool. So he's a beautiful boy, and he is getting big quick, so he'll be doing some uh, breeding later this year. So, all right, we're going to switch over to the last boy that we're going to check. Going to give this snake off to Taylor, and we're going to take this one here. This is one of my most exciting projects that I am very happy to own. Uh, this dude is, again, it should be a boy, and he, all he is, many of you in the previous video said, are you sure it's not a stranger clown? And uh, the answer is, I don't know. Um, I just asked the, the breeder and he said he is 100% confident that this is a clown het sunset, 100% het sunset. So we have many females for him to pair up with to produce that uh, sunset clown. So um, let's do this. He's a little bit more of a fidgety snake, but again, I'm gonna try to do this myself. Let's see if he lets. So again, I'm gonna put my thumb kind of over here, let him do his thing. He's definitely a lot more tense, I can already feel. See, he's already starting to rotate. Let's see. Let's see if we can get this. Nah, maybe not. He's gonna switch around. No, probably not. I think I'm gonna need Taylor's help here. Actually, here, grab that tail. No, not gonna work. Okay, so uh, again, a little tricky uh, depending on all the snakes that you, you got. Everybody's got a little different personality. Um, so he's just a little bit more tense. He's still a sweet snake, so that's all. Taylor's gonna hold his body. I'm gonna hold his tail right here. And here we go. Again, using the small probe in. And boom, all the way in. You guys can see that going in and out. So that is a boy and that's all we need to see. All right, so thank you guys for joining. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave comments below. Again, this is not a difficult process. Uh, you may be asking what probes did I buy? I have absolutely no idea. I went on Amazon, picked a $5 set of probes, probably something like that. These are extremely basic. Um, they have that little tiny ball at the end just to make sure um, they are literally snake probes. That's what I typed in on Amazon. Um, they have some massive sets. Uh, look, you know, you guys can do the the distance but this is probably six inches this probe and they're all about six inches so that's that's what you need to look up again um what else would i say uh the last thing i'd say is um if you don't feel comfortable doing this if you don't have a steady hand if you don't do it, then just don't do it go take it to the local pet shop they should be able to help you go to a vet you can bring like all your snakes at once or whatever um or if you have somebody like me local to you, I can also help you guys out. So, all right, thank you guys for joining. See you next time.